Hello everyone, I can't wait to see all of you this coming weekend. In this video, I am going to show you how to assemble your bonus gift. This is nice if you always wanted to know how to create your own embellishments, tags, or you never made a card using different stems. I am going to start with the mini slimline card, very popular these days, so let's get started. We are going to have a stamping station next to my close to my heart boot, just in case if any of you need any help, I am right there. So these are the images you are going to stamp. And this is the two stamp sets we are going to use. When you open your bag, you should have one small cellophane bag contain the tag and the embellishment all cut out for you. That's the one. And these cuts for your slimline card. Okay, so let me just put everything away and then we are going to start with the card. First, I am going to score at three inch because this is a six by six inch based. It doesn't really matter which way you score. Long as you score at three, inch marks that's all it matters fold the card and now you have your card base first i am going to attach this piece to the card base I like to use liquid glue because it's giving me a little play time before it's completely dry. I am just eyeballing this, but also trying to uh, leave same space on the top and on the bottom. Next, go ahead and glue the yellow cardstock on top of the black cardstock. Now on the white paper, I am assuming you already stamped all your images before you start assembling these. And I did the same thing. I already stamped, colored, and cut everything out for my projects. I almost forgot to mention this. If you never stamped before, please come to see me so I can help you. I left the larger flower uncut because I wanted to show you it's not a big deal to cut it out. It is really very, very easy. I'll tell you what, the scissor, the scissor is the key in here. You must have to have a nice fussy cut uh, scissor. If you have a scissor, 
what is not sharp, your cut will not look good either. I always have more than one scissor, one for just fussy cutting and one for anything else. See how easy? And I don't know if you notice that, but I do leave a little white border around that. I like the look of it. So in here, I am not going to cut out the whole flower. I am just going to cut out the middle one because I would like to uh, use a 3D foam tape to, to pop it. You will see what I'm talking about. Sometimes I grab a black marker and go over the edges of the, the cut image just to cover the unprofessional cuts. And now I'm grabbing some foam tape and I am going to attach this. This is going to pop a little bit out and it's giving an extra dimension. We are almost done with this card. All we have to do is uh, put it together and we are all set and we can move on to the next one. So please keep watching or fast forward to the next project. So my next move is I'm just grabbing my sentiments and I am going to trim it down to fit my card.
I am going to put some foam tape on the back again for extra dimension. Oh, by the way, those white pearl, you also find that at the stamping station. I hope you like this mini slimline card and maybe even learn something. Watch my next video to show you how to assemble our tag and embellishment.